I think it's inevitable I'm gonna end up back in Oregon for sure. The only reason I don't live here is because of the rain. This place that we're at right now is, uh, it used to be a grocery store probably before I started skating, but it's now been abandoned for as long as I can remember. And uh, this was where we used to skate every day when it was raining. I think it was probably freshman year or sophomore year. I took a welding class and the teacher was super cool. And he would let us stay after school and like build rails. So we would build rails and bring them here. Well, what would happen is we, we get them in there and we teach them to weld about five or six different basic weld joints, how you join metal and what configuration you put them together. And it takes a little bit of different techniques. So once they learn that, then these guys were doing projects. Yeah. And a lot of kids at that time, it was really popular to do rails. And so we, they'd pull some of this tubing out of here. We'd grab any one of these. Grab those and they'd build rails and cut it. Set them up so that they could take them and, and I guess work take on their them, skills. Yeah, you take know. them over to the old abandoned wind cove over there. Is that where you guys yeah. did it? <laughs> really? You know, when I first started, I never had the, the ultimate goal. I didn't, I'm going to go pro. You know, it wasn't like that. Mm -hmm. I think it came from more like, I just really liked doing it, and I was, you know, I just happened to be good at it. And then when, you know, you get older and you're like, whoa, somebody wants to pay me a little bit of money, you know? Like, yeah. that's crazy, okay. Like, that makes sense because you gotta love it first. You gotta love it first. I think when you have this goal that's so far off, you get disappointed in yourself a little more. Like, oh man. I didn't get into the college I wanted to get into. Maybe I'm not going to go pro anymore. And it's just, maybe it's a little too high to focus on now. If you really love playing football, do it anyway. Who cares? Yeah. If you go pro. <laughs> yeah, so what you're telling me is if you weren't making money, do it, you'd still be skating somewhere. I would still be skating, yeah. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool, because, yeah. you know, I mean, I look at it and I still water ski. Yeah. I'm not great at it, but I still <laughs> go and have fun. Yeah. yeah. Josh is an intelligent kid, and if he wasn't skateboarding, he'd be successful doing something. Kids now, you see attendance issues. I mean, we're having problems with kids coming to school. And I think the support at home's not as good as it once was. It's, it's definitely um, a different social challenge than it was even 10 years ago. Like when Josh was here, I felt like he had a more stable family. You know, I think Josh came from a real stable family. Oh, man. There were nine of us <laughs> yeah. at one point. Yeah. At one point. Okay, so Kelly, Stacy, then me, and Amy, Jake. Tiffany and John, and, uh, and then me. And you. Parents. That's an that's an order, oldest to youngest. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhat. It's the only way to remember them. <laughs> you go in order. <laughs> You'll forget somebody. <laughs> I go youngest to oldest. <laughs> in the the house actually burnt down. 2000, the candle in the basement fell onto my sister's bed and just lit the lit the bed on fire. Yeah, we just stood out here and watched it watched it burn in the middle of the night. It's probably one o'clock in the yeah. morning or something. And the insurance put us into a put us into an apartment while they rebuilt. Actually, I think I got my first board when we were in that apartment building. It's a 
Christmas of that apartment building, I remember skating in the parking lot of that. But it was like a very Enough. like influential time. So it was like this unobtainable, like, oh, I want to do that. played baseball, like t-ball, but I, but that was about it. I mean, skateboarding was really his first and only love. I mean, the baby of the family, I think part of that is baby, baby syndrome, <laughs> the, the birth order syndrome. Always a bit of a daredevil, always a bit of a out there on the edge, and, uh, and, and really took to skateboarding very early. I mean, I remember him being seven and eight, and, and Billy skating at the time, and, um, and him, them bonding around that, and, and, doing that together and for that really taking hold for Josh. I think there's probably a couple factors that inspired him to do what he's doing and to really feel like he could make something of it. My dad being a pastor of a church for for 15, 20 years is a huge factor for all of us. It's weird to think back on it. I never, I never fucking think about it. I know that it probably influenced me a lot. And I fucking saw a lot of bullshit. Like, so many people coming to my parents for help and then hearing stories and... People often don't come to church because everything is wonderful. And, right. and so he watched a lot of people go through a lot of stuff. We were broke, always, and the, the, you know, the church was broke, but they would always, like, people would come like, oh, my power is not working, or, you know, I didn't pay my power bill. And they would, like, help them out, and then they wouldn't show up for, like, after that. Josh saw all of it, good, bad, and ugly, and saw, you know, my parents in a lot of pain, and, and then also saw a lot of the good. I mean, he's, he probably interacted with more people in his life than the average kid. Josh was this little kid that showed up with his buddies at the skate park like every day his mom would like drop him off there for like all day long and he would hang out on top of the pyramid and try his tricks and we'd yell at him and and then eventually he started getting older and better and better and then like it st we started all going skating together and we all rode for like the same skate shop which was board sports. Where I came upon meeting Josh was just through the local competition scene that we were working on running uh, with the city of Eugene at the time. Probably when he was about 14 or 15, started showing up at some of the local competitions and... Uh, it wouldn't be like, I'm gonna go win this competition or anything like that. He'd just come back and say, yeah, I won that competition. <laughs> what? Did really well for himself at an early age, you know? It was obvious right away when you saw him skating that he had some raw natural talent. <laughs> the weirdest thing is when I first started skating, it was probably like, a year after, my parents bought me a skate video from the skate shop and brought it home. Maybe you had something to do with it. And I turned it on and I was like expecting like some sort of like trick tip or like helps, you know? Like I didn't get, like watching it, I was like, I didn't get it. I was like, what is, what are they doing? Are they like, they're just showing off? Like this, this is the whole thing, they're just showing off. And I turned it off and just went and skate. Like I didn't, I wasn't down. Like I don't get it, man. Like, and it made sense later when I realized that there's this whole industry behind it, but I had no idea. You know, we didn't have much money growing up, so it was like you really had to choose what you wanted to spend it on and your time, too, you know? Like, yeah, I just didn't have any interest in it. video part is like your goal in skateboarding because it's it's like your your picture that you get to paint you know like you get to do what you want to do and how you want to do it and you can like redo your trick as many times as you want to make it look like and that's what people see when you put it out and it's weird because it's like it's just a fucking trick on a skateboard but like at the same time it's just like a brush stroke with a paintbrush you know like someone's hyped on my video part it's like okay like I 
maybe inspired somebody to like get a little more creative on something or even just keep skating. And it's like, I think that's probably why I've stuck with it for so long, you know?